all in their own room. Nobody came in. Nobody was coughing on me. I don't sleep with anybody. Felt pretty good. But I wish I could have slept it. Your life felt like good. Anyway, uh, today's our body was a little cardio kickboxing, so I'm pretty excited. Um, if you're ready for that, that yeah. I think so is ready. She's already getting her kicking in. Uh, let's start up front or up top and open up right and left. Oh, yes, open it up. So I started my husband this morning because we had five seconds to talk right inside back. Have you guys ever, maybe this is just me, but like when you don't get out of the house and like you're kind of stuck in the house, do you ever like not want to then get out of the house? Like I was like, right. I feel like really, really blah the past couple of days. And one being that the kids are sick and two being that I'm like, okay, now when I have to actually like get out and get on down, I don't really want to get out. He goes, yeah, I actually do get that way. It's like I have to force myself off to the left, bump those hips to the right, bring that head down and then start your watch. And I thought it was just me. It's like, I thought that I just felt weird, but he's like, no, I get that way too. So I'm wondering, do you guys get that way too? Bring it on up. And then we're just gonna do a nice forward fold. So hip hinge, boop, boot it to the wall, walk it on out. And you have to kind of like make yourself get out a nice good plank, bring that right leg forward and right arm to the sky. It's so crazy how getting out affects us like mentally, like actually getting out and socializing and physically. It's so crazy. Sit it on back, hip stacked over that knee and then pop that toe. Yeah, no, you're not, no, why? You don't need to get down. Other side. Okay, left foot forward, right leg back, bring that left arm up to the sky. Oh, it is, it's just so weird. Anyways, the girls are still staying home with me today. They both still had fevers yesterday, so we gotta be fever free for 24 hours. I am hoping, fingers crossed, everyone wakes up fever free. People can stop coughing on me and uh, they can go to school tomorrow because goodness gracious, I'm ready, they're ready. Okay, table top position, got that tailbone under perfection. I didn't realize that beer is on Saturday, but it's coming up on my schedule. But it keeps creeping back. Head to the sky, tail to the sky, bring the shoulder blades back. And Addie since Sunday, and it keeps creeping back. Like they'll be fever free for a while and then it'll creep back. Curl it under. Make sure you're like really pushing into it. And head to the sky, tail to the sky. Awesome. Nice neutral position. Walk those hands out. Drop those forearms and bring that forehead down. Make sure you're kind of sitting it back just a little bit. Open up those lats. Ooh, that feels good. Okay, bring it up. Right arm out. Really, Zoe, really. And left arm out. Poor dog gets so much exercise here and so much bothering. I don't know how many times she's growled at uh, Briella. And Briella definitely deserves it. Like, and not that Zoe's left arm is gonna actually bite her. And if she does, her teeth are so like thin that she doesn't even break skin. Not that I'm great with that, but Briella tortures the you know what out of her. But mom, I'm just trying to pretend to be a dog. Mom, I'm just trying to capture her in this box. Dude, leave the dog alone. Curl those toes under, send them up and back. Here we go, here we go. Oh, you're gonna start. Think about what you want for a shoulder press. I know, walk in and roll it up. You know, grab some weights, front rack them, pretty heavy. Front rack and we're gonna do a narrow shoulder press. Here we go, up, bring them down. Up, bring them down, narrow shoulder press. Now you can always be out here, if you want to, so just switch it up a little bit. Narrow. Okay, we'll get my 20s. Okay. Exhale. Now, this next move, make sure you have your bench or your chair. Okay, so you're going to watch me. I'm going to take one dumbbell and I'm going to sit down. Awesome. Okay, one dumbbell. I'm going to be seated. A distant overhead tricep extension. So kind of a little bit back. Here we go. Oh, your shoulders actually have to be up against it. Oh. Down. 
bring it up and squeeze down. Up and squeeze. Okay, make sure that belly is in as you do it. Shoulders, or sorry, elbows are pointed forward. Exhale. Yes, feel it in those triceps. Right there. Oh man, I tried that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And now we're going to do a jumping jack alternating front kick. So you can be here or you can be here with a jump wherever you're at. This is the cardio portion of it. Ah! Now, flex that foot. You can go fast or slow wherever you're at. You can also just be here. Okay, you don't have to jump it. But you want to aim up that heart. Come here with me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice work. Nice and stop. Narrow shoulder press. So you did it one time through. Think about what you want to do. Can you ramp it up? Can you? Can you? Front racket right here. Belly in, up and down. Up and down. Right here. Exhale right next to your ears. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, you can. Whew. Girl's like, oh, I'm going to amp it up. You can get my 20s. No, 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 no. <laughs> 15s are already heavy enough. Whew. Exhale, yes. Make sure those shoulders are away from your ears. Okay. And this one off to the side. All right. For this guy, remember, you're kind of back a little bit. So I'm kind of at an angle. And my shoulder blades are against the bench. Here we go. Hands up overhead. Bring it down. Have it touch the bench of the chair. And then back up. Now you can always do this standing. You do not have to be seated doing this. It's the same thing. All right. This is just gives you a little bit more of where do I go? When do I stop? And it's really isolated because all you are is moving those triceps. Nice work. Jumping jacks, alternating front kicks. Try and get those kicks up with a nice flexed foot. Okay, remember, you can just you can just step it or you can dump it. So wherever you're at. And yeah, you can go pretty fast or slow. All right. You do you. You know your capability. I can tell you exactly what to do. And you're the one that has to push yourself. Let's do this. Now, dummy jacks, not in your fitness journey. <laughs> you can do them as a ski. <laughs> that would be my sister. She's not here. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. We're working on her pelvic floor. It's silly, but. Okay, here we go. I love her. Totally called her out. <laughs> ah, here we go, front raise. Sorry, shoulder press. <laughs> hey, right here. Here we go. Last round. Yes, you can. Right there. So we do some weight, we do some cardio. Perfect combination. Right here. Belly is in. Nice. Up, shoulder height, push it up. Make sure, like I said, your belly is in. Oh man, right there. <laughs> nice work. Kevin, okay, that off to the side. Sit it on down, overhead. Yes, right here. Make sure those shoulder blades are against, are against that chair or bench. Bring it up overhead. Down and up, here we go. Exhale. Oh, and also, if we do get weather, and for example, it does cancel school, so help me, they might scream. <laughs> That's just me though, because my kids have been sick. I don't want anybody to be spotted anything. I don't want anybody to go to school if it is dangerous. I just scream internally. Yep. And then maybe send them over to my sister's house. Oh, 
they need some socialization. Woo. All right, here we go. Here we go. Front dummy tag, alternating front kick. This is it. And then we're moving on. Here we go. Here we go. If you can do it faster, do it faster. Every time you kick, exhale. Okay, that'll help with that belly, right? Little core action. Hey, Hesh, what are you working for? You know if I let you down, I'm going to accidentally kick you. You know that's going to happen. Here we go, here we go. Right there, nice work. Okay, I'm going to put this bench off to the side. All right, you could do the bench on these next moves, but we're going to drop it down and do a chest press. Okay, so grab your heavy weights and then grab, actually just grab your heavy weights. I totally forgot my water. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second. Sorry, Debbie. Totally pause this. I'm like, wait a minute, everybody get a water break. I don't have water. What is wrong with me? Oh. Everyone gets an extra water or an extra break. Did you guys enjoy that uh, extra long break? Because I hope you did. Okay, lay it down. We're doing a chest press. Here we go. Lay it on down. Feet shoulder width apart. Now, as we do this chest press and we're bringing those elbows out, we're gonna twist and bring your pinkies in. So it's a rotation. Now remember, tailbone is curled under. Squeeze that chest. Dumbbells on your right over your nipple line. Right here, right here. Right there, squeeze it, up and squeeze, rotate those pinkies. Nice work. Okay, now we're gonna take those dumbbells, we're gonna actively squeeze them together. We're gonna bring them down and up and down and up. Not all the way fully extending and not all the way going down. Okay, so a quarter of the way off your belly, three quarters of the way up. So down, up, down, up. Elbows are kind of grazing your rib cage. You are actively pushing those dumbbells together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really heavy. It's only my, it's only my guys. Oh. Push, push, push. All right, you're gonna feel this in a little bit different area of your chest. Yes, you will. Make sure that tailbone is curled under. Hey yo, hey yo. Nice work. Okay, now put those off to the side. We're gonna be somewhat in a lateral stance. You're gonna Bring that right arm down, left leg out, and then left lateral kick. So here, all right. So down, kick it, down, kick it. Now, if you want to, you can always add that punch in, okay? Just one side, don't worry, we're gonna do both sides. And I don't have to remember which side to do because we're gonna do it after this one. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so the lateral kick, you're gonna get a little bit of those obliques and you don't have to dump it, all right? You could totally just step it. Then you don't have to get as high as me either. You do you, okay? Other side, same thing. You're gonna to touch down and then right kick. Down, right kick, okay? Flex that foot, all right? Hey yo, hey yo. Down, get your rhythm. You can always Bring that arm into it also if you want to. When you have the upper body and that lower body, that's when you get that heart rate really amped up. All right? Also, you don't have to touch the ground. You can just be here. Okay? Make sure you're doing your fitness journey. All right? Just because I tell you to do it, listen to your body. Hey, sir, come down. Really, dog. Oh. Okay, chest press, rotate those pinkies. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Curl that tailbone under. Here we go. Out, rotate those pinkies in. Exhale. 
right here, squeeze that chest right over that nipple line. Yes, you can. All right, round number two. Think about the weights that you have. Lock out those wrists. You can also breathe into that belly while you're down here. And that'll help activate that core. I don't know you want to get down. Now try to press. Can you go to the bathroom maybe? Maybe it's just to go to the bathroom. Here we go. Push those together. Raise your elbows. So push those dumbbells together. Elbows right against the side of your body. You're not going all the way up, locking it out. You're not going all the way down, setting it on your chest. Holy bananas. My chest is on fire. <laughs> but I feel right there. Nice work. All right, bring it up. Left side first and then the right side. Maybe she has a bathroom on the head. Okay, so you're here and you're here. All right. Remember where you're at. You don't have to jump it. You don't have to keep it as high. And you don't have to use your, uh, your arm to punch. But if you want to amp it up, amp it up with me. Use that side oblique to get that leg up there. Right here. Oh, yeah. Make those punches count. Don't just literally nilly it. You're going to throw the punch, throw it. <laughs> okay? Don't meh. Throw it. Go down. Yeah. <laughs> You know, super intimidating. Oh, okay, other side, other side. All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh. So down, here we go. Slow down, need a little bit of cardio kickboxing into our day. Like I said, make sure you're breathing. It's funny, yesterday I'm like, I gotta get out of the house. I gotta get out. So I texted up to my friend. <laughs> yes, Kristen, that would be you. <laughs> and I was like, hey, do you think it's okay if I leave the kids home and just put a walk around the subdivision? She's like, yes, Brittany, it's fine. <laughs> Abby is responsible and Bria looks fine. I was like, okay, I just need, I just need to bring it to her. And mind you, here we go. Abby is not to eight, almost nine, very responsible. They didn't even have enough energy to get into trouble. Exhale, rotate those pinkies in. Also, they both can get a hold of me either on a phone or through Alexa. I was gone less than five minutes. Then Briella called me on Alexa and talked to me for a solid 15 minutes. I was like, in here, I was worried. <laughs> they were totally fine. Sometimes she's just like, me. Hmm. Never done this before, and Ryan wasn't answering me. Thanks, Kristen. Appreciate it. Here we go. Push those dumbbells together. Curl that tailbone under. Up and down, not all the way down, not all the way up. This is your last time. So actively push those dumbbells together. Keep them moving up and down, up and down. Yes, you can. Elbows are grazing the side of your body. You're right over your nipple line. Push those dumbbells together because when you push them, you're also getting that chest in there. Nice work. Yes. Bend these off to the side. Oh, baby. All right. Last hit through with this. Down and kick it. You see what? Uh, oh, whoops. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Like I said last time. So if you have more in you, give it to me. Exhale as you throw that punch or kick that leg. Make sure it's nice and flexed. You're getting that nice oblique action going on. Here we go, here we go. Nice work. Other side. Breathe. And now we're going to do the other side. 
You got this. Every second. No big deal. I have to get like my life coordination right. Right? Sometimes I'm really, really coordinated. Sometimes I'm not coordinated at all. Here we go. That other arm, make sure it's not just like hanging out. So you have it up. So you're like kind of protecting yourself. Here we go. Yes, you can. Put that leg. Oh. Hey, grab some water. Look. I have water. <laughs> All right. Grab some medium to heavy dumbbells. We're going to do constant bicep curl. So choose a weight that you can constantly keep moving. All right. I'm going to start with my 15. I have to go down, but that's okay. I'm going to start off with a weight. Then I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Shoulders are down, up, up. So be constantly moving. Squeeze your bicep as you do it. Yeah, 15s are heavy. <laughs> I hope you guys picked a weight that was pretty heavy for you so that you're challenging yourself. And if you don't get a ton in there, that's okay. You don't have to. Have them work. Grab a band, um, a medium to heavy, I would say. We're gonna put it around our wrist, all right? We're gonna pulse it out as we go up. Pulse it out as we go down. Elbows are slightly bent. So right here, we are getting shoulders, triceps, biceps, everywhere, okay? Make sure you have that constant tension as you're doing it. Slight bend in those elbows right here. Anybody else's triceps on fire with this? Because mine sure are. Here we go. Make sure your band is heavy enough. Awesome work, okay. Two hooks and two lateral kicks. So we're here, one hook, two hook, lateral kick, lateral kick. Okay, you got it. Hooks, you're going towards yourself. So hook, hook, kick, kick. Okay, hook, hook, kick. Actually do a hook, hook, kick. Hook, hook, kick. Hook, hook, kick. Hook, 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 hook kick. Remember, those wrists are going towards you. That's gonna get our lats. You're welcome. Let's work. Okay, now speed bag. You speed bag it, arms stay up, and you hop it. All right, now you don't have to hop it. Completely up to you. You can go as slow as fast as you want. Here we go. All right, keep those hands up, going in a circle. Oh yeah, right? So what's the point of this, Brittany? Your shoulders. Shoulders, a little bit of your tricep, a little bit of your bicep, if you're moving. But you're also keeping your heart rate up because you're kind of bouncing. Now you can just be here, just walking around, or you can really hump it up. Just don't hit yourself. If you are, you can get up. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. <laughs> All right, constant bicep curls. Here we go. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, I can. Shoulders are down, constantly moving up and down. Here we go. Right here. All right, shoulders are down. Squeeze those biceps. Don't bring those elbows into where they're sitting on your hips. Just have them next to your hips. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Right here. Nice work. All right, grab that band. Make sure it's heavy enough to do these, okay? Mine's pretty heavy. Lock out your wrist. Elbows are slightly bent. Here we go. Pulse it up. 
and it pulls it down. Make sure you have that constant tension. That's where you're gonna find it, that constant tension. You can tell I don't have mine out very far. Now, if you just have a big band, you can do this with a big band too. Right here, up and down. Yes, you can. Nice work. All right, this next round, let's just do some hooks. So, hook it, hook it, hook it. Okay, let's take out the lateral kick. That kind of wasn't a great light. It's hard. <laughs> like, here we go. It's just a hard transition. So, hook, actively use that core, okay? Fist going toward you, like you're kind of like hooking somebody, right? Move those legs, keep it low, right here. Yes, heart rate is getting up, air is still using the muscles. Right there, nice work. Speed back up in the air, Whew. yeah. Uh huh. Show them, baby. All right, now, if your arms are up in the air, remember you can dump it, but you don't have to. You do you, let's do this, okay? In a circle, right here. Yes, you can. Oh. Now, just because we're jumping, that doesn't mean we can't activate that core too. So while you're breathing, every time you exhale, Bring that belly a little bit closer to your side. Right here. Let's work. One last time through. Constant bicep curls. So you can amp it up, amp it up. Come on, Teresa. Arms be popping. Here we go. Up and down. Right there, constantly moving at all times. All right, good on your mind, good on your body. And if you're walking around like me, that's the burn. <laughs> totally fine. Remember, there's no growth in that comfort zone. No, there's not. Don't push yourself right there. Oh my goodness. Yep, here we go. Grab that band, put it around those wrists. Last time through. All right, we're pulsing it out all the way up, all the way down. Constant tension. Doesn't have to be fast as long as you keep that tension. That's where you're gonna find, where you're gonna find the burn. But that also, that constant tension means there's more time under, time under tension for those muscles. All right, and that little pull gives it a little extra. Oh. Yes, you can, right here. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, hook. Remember, like I said, hook going towards you. So fist is going towards you. So drop it down. Here we go. And our legs are just kind of tapping. I mean, you can go here if you really want to, but I really want to get my upper body in it. All right? So, the faster you go, the more intense it is. The harder you, the harder you hook and stop yourself, the more intense it is. So, get after it. Feedback. Yes, you can. All right? Last to these staircase. And then you know I have a burnout. <laughs> You're welcome. Get excited. Here we go. Speed back, speed back. Right here. All right. Arms are up. Yes, you can. Don't hit yourself in the head. <laughs> if you do, keep going. <sighs> All right. Belly is in. Yes, it is. And you're hopping or you're standing there walking around, wherever you're at. Let's do this. Nice work, grab a thread, burn out. Yep, 
You have one minute and 30 seconds. We are going to do this. Go down for a burpee. Give me a single push up. Bring it in. Give me a front kick. Drop it down. Give me two push ups. So it's a ladder. Okay. Yes, you can. Every time you add a push up on, add another front kick in. You can be up on your bench, you can walk it. You don't even have to kick it. Here we go. Down, push up on your knees or your toes. Bring it in. Give me one front kick. Down, two push ups. Bring it in. Give me two front kicks. Down, three push ups. Wherever you're at, you can always be on your knees. And then you can step it in and you can give me. Where are you at? I'm on four push ups. Where are you? Okay, this is your burnout. So you have to challenge yourself. I'm on five. <laughs> totally got to get my knees. Three, four, five. Where are you at? Make sure I'm on the push up. Elbows are grabbing out. All right. Nice, good transition. Push away. Elbows are driving down. Here we go. You can even jump them if you really wanted to. All right. I'm on eight. Where are you guys at? Nice work. Sit it on back. Yes. Ah, nice little child pose. Way to go. Bring it on up. And then flip it over. All right, you guys. Don't you love the burnouts at the end? <laughs> okay, hands up overhead. Point those toes. Wiggle those fingers. Arms out in the T. Bring those legs up. Bring it over to the left. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to talk about tension headaches and how to how I know that I don't know maybe it's just me that I get tension headaches but maybe some of you get tension headaches and sometimes it turns into a migraine okay so I'm going to try and give you a couple tips on how to prevent it from going into a migraine all right bring it on up interlace I know we didn't do legs but all that kicking definitely activated some quads and hamstrings okay so Tension headaches, they're a class of headaches and they have to do with stress or muscle tension. I know, right? Tension headaches, muscle tension, no way. Now, it could be influenced by like dehydration, right? Sometimes we get um, dehydrated or sometimes when we're dehydrated, we get headaches. Also could be allergies or histamine um, or stress. Stress does sometimes bring out those tension headaches, okay, the stress. All right, so what is it, right? What's the root cause though? That's what we have to figure out. What is the root cause? So how do we fix it when we know the root cause? Drive that arm out. I know it's a big, it's a big, it's a big what if. Okay, so a couple of causes why. Um, well, like I said, those are the couple of causes why, sorry, a couple of reasons or a couple of ways that you can help with those tension headaches. Okay, first off, you could stretch. When you stretch and you stretch your body, sometimes that helps with, the stress and the muscle tension, right? Okay, also, you could take a hot shower. What does the hot shower do? Relaxes pretty much everything. I'm gonna take that right arm, thread it through. Oh, that feels so good. Also, what you could do is you could yawn. I know that sounds silly, but when you yawn, it actually stretches out some of the muscles in your face that you can't actually stretch. Right, so your jaw, a little bit of uh, your neck, some of those facial um, facial features. Okay. Also, if you find that maybe your your tension headache is due to um, pain somewhere else, like I know when I get really big knots in, in between my shoulder blades from lots of playing or push-ups, it causes pain. It goes up through my head. For a tension headache, so let's just understand them up and back. So use the lacrosse ball or a foam roller and getting really into those knots really, really helps. 
relieve that tension. Okay, in addition, maybe you need to replace your electrolytes. Okay, if you find that you're dehydrated because maybe you've been sweating a lot, and all of a sudden you're like, but I'm drinking water, drinking water, but when you sweat and you drink water, your electrolytes don't necessarily replace all themselves, or sometimes you just can't keep up. So using some sort of um, electrolyte uh, supplement. I've used the IV hydration, and I think that that is great. That has really, really helped with like Ryan him not getting migraines, okay? And I've heard great things from other people. Okay, so um, just whenever you start feeling a headache coming on, find the cause of it and get to it before uh, it turns into a migraine, okay? And I wanna say, oh, do this, it's gonna help. But I wanna say thank you so much for joining with KLiveWorkouts.com. Make sure you do hydrate up after this one. I know I'm sweaty, maybe you're sweaty too. All right, and I will see you guys on Friday. Wish me luck, the kids go to school tomorrow. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> All right, anyways.